First of all, I want to congratulate for the success against uh, France Baros. Winning you. by 13 goals is great. You did a lot for winning that match. Is it because of the lot of trainings? We played a really good match this uh, game and um, of course we had prepared really well. We had a um, lot of tactical meeting and video analysis. Yeah. Analytics. Analytics. And um, we had also really good and tough trainings before this match. So I think yeah, we were really well prepared and this made us able to win this match. Do you think we will win the next match against them? I so. think it will be again a really tough match. And I think we have to prepare like um, we didn't play the first match, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, we have to prepare like we did for the first match and just thinking what we can do better, uh, how we can improve and what we are good in that we have to focus on. And I think this way we're able to, to win the game. But uh, if we relax a little bit, it, it can be difficult. So we have to be focused. Did you only play handball in your childhood or you did another sport? I played uh, different sports. I played uh, handball, football, and uh, riding horses. So I did different things, and I think it's important when you're young to do different things because then you develop and you can find what you like the most. And why have you chosen handball? That uh, I'm not sure the reason why. I really enjoyed playing handball, and uh, my family, my sisters, were also playing. So maybe this is why. And where did you start your handball career? Um, where or why? Where? 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 Um, I started to play in a local team where I grew up. Norway? In Norway, yes. Uh, outside the big city. And when I was young I played in this local club and when I was a little bit older I started to go into a bigger club inside the, the city, close to where I grew up. And. How are you injured? How did the adopt go? It went quite fast. Of course, the first month there, it was, it was different. Uh, when I moved from Norway, I moved to Denmark, and Norway and Denmark are quite similar. Yeah. It's not so big different, and we can also understand the language. So I could talk Norwegian for them. And of course, moving here, it was quite different with the language and a and little bit different culture. There are a lot of uh, Hungary, uh, Norwegian players in yeah. Seattle. And of course this made the develop... Uh, no, the... What's... Getting into the club and to the team... Adopted. Yeah, adopted. Uh, it was easier when it was other Norwegians here. And of course the other girls, the Hungarian girls, they were really open and easy to, to get to know and to talk to. So this was quite easy. After a month I felt really good in the team. Uh, fans really love you here. How does it feel that thousands of people are watching you while you're playing? I try not to think about it <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I'm, I like to be a little... it's weird because I'm a little bit shy normally and I don't like to be in the center of some things. But in the humble field, I'm very in the center and everybody can see you. So I try not to think about it as this. And, and I don't know, when I play humble, I'm a little bit different. So uh, then I'm just enjoying and I try not to think that everybody is watching. Yeah, but I'm more happy. Yeah. And, uh, but of course, when you hear the fans are shouting your name or shouting Eto, this is... Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's a wonderful feeling. It's really good. So I'm trying to enjoy every minute of it because I know in some years I will not play handball and this will be really, really good memories. How long will you stay in handball? Um, what do you think? I don't know. Um, right now I would like to play here longer, but I have contract until next summer. So we'll see after this. Things can happen fast in handball. You never know. Were you a good student in primary school? 
Um, I had to work really hard. Um, I near handball. Yeah, and I was really active on on the side, and then I, but my parents were quite strict that I had to do my homework and everything before I could go train. So this is good, and but I didn't take things so easy. I had to read a lot to learn some things. So I was working really hard, but uh, I was uh, okay student. Do you like Hungarian kitchen? What's your favorite food? Oh, yeah, I like the Hungarian kitchen. And one time my neighbor invited me over for goulash soup that we made outside in the garden in this big pot. And then this tasted really, really good. We congratulate for winning the European Championship with Norway. Thank you so much. Do you think we at all will win the Champions League this year? I think it's really close. It's a really tough, uh, tough matches, and it's really good teams. Um, so I think it depends on the day who is winning, who is having a good day, and yeah. who is having not so good day. So, but I feel we have the team that can be able to win. So, but of course, it's many matches before this. So, but we dream about it. We do, but it's really important for us to only take one match at a time and now we're not yet in the final four. So this is our big goal first and then we have to see, but everybody has dreams. We hope. Yes, we cross the fingers. No problem.